Oh my gosh. Oh, I had no idea. Learning stuff is really cool. It's time for the Big Guys Minute. Chat. Well, folks, it's getting a little bit chilly out there, which means it's the perfect time to start learning about winter in the state of Israel. You may think that winter in the state of Israel is wildly different from the way winter is here in Arizona, but you might be surprised. Remember, little Arizonans, people come from all over the United States to stay in Arizona for the winter months. Why do they do this? Well, of course, it's because you can have breakfast at a sand dune in Yuma, and you can have dessert after dinner in a ski resort in Flagstaff. And Israel is exactly the same way. Arizonans like these, including Camp Stein staff, know that wintertime in Israel is full of unique experiences that summertime travelers simply can't see, including holidays from multiple faiths. But, for a more traditional wintertime activity, we'll have to travel elsewhere. Israel's most northern point is Mount Hermon, which southern slope rises to almost the same elevation as Camp Stein. The Israeli southern slope of the mountain cascades into the Golan Heights, giving Israeli citizens access to a 7,700-foot 7, peak. <laughs> that makes it the, the, the tallest spot in Israel. <laughs> in addition to its iconic landscapes, Mount Hermon is an essential source of water for the entire state of Israel. But best of all, much like Flagstaff's Mount Humphreys, Mount Hermon is home to Israel's only ski resort. The Mount Hermon Ski Resort is filled with slopes, sledding, and alpine slides for Israelis to enjoy. Due to its elevation and close proximity to Syria and Lebanon, this ski slope is also the only one in the world to double as an active military installation. While some more southerly Israelis aren't always able to make the trek up the mountain road, that doesn't mean that they don't occasionally get their own wintry experience. In 2013, a winter storm blanketed parts of Jerusalem with as much as two feet of snow, even at the Western Wall. That's right. You're looking at the biggest snow day Jerusalem has seen in over 50 years. This four-day snowstorm shut down transportation in the city and many Israelis took advantage of the snow to engage in some classic winter fun. Ancient walls became shelter from snowballs, and sloping fields became prime real estate for sledding. Oh, look at this. Oh, doesn't that look fun? It just goes to show that our friends halfway across the world still know how to be like Elsa and let it go.